Well, hey guys, I just put my jazzy clippy light on, so I don't know, I'm ever so slightly less shadowy. I'm just gonna jump in this morning with my skincare routine. The elaborate process it is just to get my hair out of my face in the morning warrants going back to bed. You gotta watch this pump from Aveeno, the daily moisturizing facial cleanser, because if a little bit of cleanser residue gets left behind in the pump, it dries there and then it makes the stream shoot out all over your bathroom mirror. Not fun. Still coming in with my Q10 serum. One, two, three. I have come to an oral hygiene revelation. Are you sitting on the edge of your seat? I've realized I've been doing it all wrong with my fluoride rinse. Typically, I floss my teeth, I brush my teeth, and then I've been doing the fluoride rinse afterward. That's wrong. Why? The fluoride in the toothpaste is much stronger and you want that left behind on your teeth for cavity prevention or as much of it as possible for cavity prevention. So if you come in with any kind of rinse, it's going to dilute that. If you come in with water, it's going to dilute it more. Most, a lot of people do that. You know, they brush their teeth, they spit the toothpaste stuff out, and then they rinse their mouth. But you're rinsing some of that protective fluoride out. And you're rinsing some of it out too if you do a fluoride rinse because the percent of fluoride in the rinse is much lower than what would have been left behind on your teeth. Better than water, but you get what I'm saying. Dermatology. For me, it's just like my no-brainer sunscreen. Be on the lookout though, Dermatology usually does a really good Black Friday sale on their website. I'm, uh, I'm telling you, I've had this little, I'm gonna call it Cosrx, Kosari kettle for several months now. It's one of my favorite purchases of 2022. I like that I can make tea directly in it. Like you can heat up the water and then hold the temperature. It has different settings for different types of tea. And then it has a coffee setting. It's stylish. I love the gooseneck. I need to wipe it down, but. So I don't know what to do about my coffee because I have some beans left in here, but not enough for a full cup. I'm gonna open a new bag, but I don't want to mix the different beans. Wicked Wolf. This is another one from Raven's, Raven's Brew. Highly recommend. Very good. And iHerb often has a Veterans Day sale. If you've never shopped on iHerb, they have tons of stuff on there, like different types of foods. Now they don't have like fresh groceries, produce and stuff like that, but they have a lot of flowers, um, you know, unique flowers if you bake. Uh, go to check out iHerb uh, because you can get a ton of that kind of stuff. Cereals, beans, they have all different kinds of the protein bars that you can get. You know, you know, so if you like protein bars, so I often purchase protein powder, coffee, I mean, tea, all sorts of spices. This isn't sponsored, but I'm telling you, iHerb, it's where it's at. And, and, the skincare, don't sleep on eye herb for skincare because stuff that might be kind of difficult to find, they will, they often have it. They also have hair care products. Making my way through this impulse purchase that I am not ashamed of, the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent. This is good, good stuff. I always wonder why Bath and Body Works never got into countertop sprays uh, to match their candles. Are there, are there, Actual body care products, I guess they're pretty popular. I don't use them because um, they're heavily scented. I haven't been in Bath and Body Works in a while. The last candle I got from there was last year around this time, actually. I may go to Kroger today and see if they've got the new Tuscany Candle Holiday scents in because those are divine. And that Mainstays candle that I got at Walmart, man, I love it. I'm burning it now, the apple pumpkin or whatever. It is so good. Tuscany always comes out with a, um, like a white chocolate peppermint. That's so good. Plus the label on the Tuscany is really pretty. I don't know. I'm, I'm rambling, I know, but y'all know I love my candles. I will, I will throw a temper tantrum if my skincare product has fragrance in it, but give me a scented candle. Fire it up! Or a scented countertop spray. But I purchased some skincare products with an ingredient I'm going to do a video on, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, leave you on the edge of your seat. Um, and I purchased some skincare products that have the said ingredient, and uh, 
uh, the products I cannot stand because they are so heavily scented. And it's a shame because they would otherwise be good. And this particular ingredient, I feel as though it's not very common in skincare products. And I don't know if this, I know I'm being vague here, but I can't give away all my secrets. Otherwise, you know. Uh, let's put a little more in. Yeah, the scent on, on these products that I'm testing out for you guys, um, it's just horrible. So I won't be recommending them, but I'll be talking about them and talking about the ingredient at least. Um, and it's the kind of fragrance where they had to put like a lot of alcohol in the product. I don't know. And alcohol, I've talked about this before, low molecular weight alcohols in skincare products are not the devil. Like they serve a purpose. But when you get a heavily scented skincare product, it gives you that almost like alcohol like hit and then a heavy fragrance and you're like, is this really skincare? Yeah, it, it ends up being like something that you would use to descale your garbage disposal. It's just <clears throat> All right, time has gone off, so it's coffee time. Hey guys, I'm on my way out to Target, but I just put on the Color Science Face Shield Flex before coming out, and I haven't worn that in a while, but it's a great sunscreen that is sort of like a hybrid between skincare and cosmetics because, first of all, it comes out white, and then as you rub it in, the pigment starts to come out. They have a few different shades. I've got the shade medium on right now. The lip gloss that I'm wearing is that City Beauty lip lip shine, lip treatment that I got at the BK Beauty event at the Reward Style Conference. It was in my swag bag. On my For You page on TikTok, I got this ridiculous, it's all over TikTok right now where people are lathering their acne with a combination of dial soap, tea tree oil, and um, vitamin E oil drops, all of those are like, first of all, tea tree oil, I rant about this all the time, but you know, it's, yes, it does have antimicrobial properties, antifungal properties. You'll frequently find it in skincare products, but allergy to tea tree oil is pretty common. But when we're talking about these DIYs where people are getting straight up tea tree oil, it's really risky because, you know, tea tree oil is very, is highly variable. And tea tree oil is susceptible to degradation. And when it degrades, it becomes very irritating to the skin. And it also can lead to frank chemical burns, honestly. But dial soap, it's like a pH of like nine, very drying. And then the vitamin E oil, um, I've talked about this before, but vitamin E oil, like the capsules or whatever, it's vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. And by the way, as a side note, speaking of vitamin E, I did a video, which should be up already this from this week, on the skin benefits of vitamin E. Uh, the problem with vitamin E is that it too can be pretty irritating, especially in like, if you're taking the dietary capsules and breaking them open and putting them on the skin, or the vitamin E oil. Um, yes, it's lubricating and, and emollient, but beyond that, contact dermatitis to that's actually not too uncommon. So all that to say, people are doing this, um, this DIY thing and it's just like, oh, I can't. What is going on over at Lowe's? They've got a tent up. I wonder if it's like Christmas trees and wreaths and stuff. Yep fresh cut Christmas trees. I have not ever as an adult purchased a live tree. That just seems like way too much work. I've always had a fake tree. Growing up, we always had fake trees with the exception of a few years just for the novelty of it. I think we tried a real tree. Speaking of real trees, you know, the if you missed my vlog um, that went up the day before Halloween where I went to the pumpkin patch, that place, that pumpkin patch, 
uh, it's a tr Christmas tree farm. It's in Spring, Texas. I'm blanking on the name of it, but the owner actually watches my vlogs and commented. So if you are in this area definitely, and you want a live tree, I would imagine go there um, because they have a whole farm of, of Christmas trees. Yeah, I don't have the, I don't have the bandwidth to deal with a real tree, frankly. And like the, the mess and everything, although the fake trees, they, they leave a mess. I don't know how people deal with those flocked trees that were so popular a few years ago. Um, Cause I heard those leave a huge mess of that flocking stuff all over the place. Let me know if you have a flocked tree. I like the white tree and I just like them because I find that the ornaments really pop on the white tree. I'm happy to have it up. I know for a lot of people this is too early, but personally, you know, lugging that thing out, putting it up, I always get all itchy and scratched up from the tree boughs. If I'm gonna go through all that, I wanna enjoy the tree for more than a few weeks. So I am all on the team of early or early decorating because time goes by too quickly, first of all. And if you're gonna put that kind of work in, I'm still not done, but you know what I'm saying. If you're gonna put that kind of work in, you might as well enjoy it. All right, I'm here in Marshall's and they have gift sets out. This is some kind of advent calendar. The box is really pretty. And inside you get I've never heard of this brand. It looks like you get a hand wash, a hand cream, bath salts, and bath fizzies. What else do they have? Is this all fragrance? You get a, yeah, a perfume, a body lotion, and a shower gel, and a roller ball. They also have a Kath Kitson advent calendar. I don't know if it's Looks like it's hand creams, body lotions, body wash, and body salts. $30. Hmm. Wow, this is a place to get hair claw clamps. They have a lot. One thing, um, I get ones on Amazon that look like this. I've only purchased them once, and I've only had to purchase them once because not only do they hold the hair really well, but they hold hold up for a long time like I've not had the little tines break off or anything and I've had them for over a year I always used to be so tempted by these philosophy body washes but they're kind of irritating Ooh, they have the advanced clinicals cracked heel rough spot cream here the shea butter and lactic acid and urea it does have fragrance in it but uh, as a word of warning if you're allergic or irritated but on the bottoms of the feet it's less likely to be irritating Anyway, lactic acid and urea is really good for dry cracked heels. Here's that Monday shampoo they had at Costco. Has anybody used this? Check out these gift sets. I thought this was that brand that they often... Is it? Dirty Works. No, it's a different brand. It kind of looks like... I'm blanking on the name. That brand they sell at Walgreens. Um, you get a body wash, a scrub, a body butter, and a hand cream travel kit eight bucks but I noticed this I thought it was cute because you get the little socks and a foot butter what is in the foot butter probably fragrance but does it have like urea and stuff I'm not seeing the ingredients anywhere ah there they are yeah it has urea coconut oil oh tea tree leaf oil uh I, I was ranting about that on the way over here but it does have antifungal properties so there's that in products, presumably, it's safer than just getting going out and buying the the oil. This has menthol in it too, which gives like a tingle. What's this peppermint twist foot lotion? I never. There's no logic in putting fragrance in foot stuff because, I mean, unless you're into that kind of thing, uh, and there is a niche for that uh, on what is it? OnlyFans with the feet. Anyway. Um, putting fragrance on your skin, it doesn't like deodorize them. Unless you're into foot stuff, which to each their own, um, there's no point in putting, fra like you're not gonna smell the fragrance on your feet and it's not gonna keep them from smelling bad. It's just gonna waft away. But it's nice that these come with those little socks. Be careful if you wear these on hardwood floors, you can take a spill. See, nail polish is not something I would buy at Marshalls. I don't know why, I just feel like it would be all gloopy, you know? How nail polish kind of gets, although this set is cute. 
Oh, check it out. These little poppers that look like nutcracker stuff. Makeup. Oh, it's got makeup uh, sponges in there. That's cute. There's like a little soldier man and then a little ballet princess. How cute is the packaging on this? Bath bombs, which are not something I recommend, but uh, the packaging is adorable because it's a little guy skiing. Oh, look, if you look, if you pull it, oh, how cute. He goes up and down. Is that as far as he goes? I guess so. Mogul. <laughs> oh, there. That's sweet. What's this acne and blemish serum? Salis again with the tea tree oil. 2% salicylic acid, and that is helpful for acne. A retinol eye cream with this little massage doodle. Hmm. It also has a bunch of peptides in it, which can help with hydration, and it has niacinamide, which can help with dark spots and redness. It's scented, though. Cream shop. Whoa, check out this makeup brush set. Grand Lux, 28 pieces. Oh, isn't that cute? A reindeer sleep mask. I love those for blocking out the light. Here's where the gift set action is. I always like to look around in these because sometimes you can get good mugs. I'm not seeing any though that I have to have. Looks like Ghirardelli has got a monopoly on these. That Mickey Mouse mug is cute. Panatone. We're done, mugs. Oh. Those are sweet. Little elf chocolates. Ooh, check out this Betsy Johnson bag. That's kind of cute. Not really my style, but it's unique. Ooh, here's a good place to get Christmas PJs. Although, it's never cold enough to relish in Christmas, Chris, Christmas, Christmas pajamas because, like, these are all soft and everything, but I would overheat in that. I can't wear something like this until, I don't know, a few weeks in February. It's just not... It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it unless I crank the AC up to pretend that it's cold. Those are cute with little dogs. See, I could wear these if I had like a tank top on. This one doesn't look too hot. The flamingos with the Christmas trees. This material seems lightweight enough. I like this material because unlike the polar fleece, the polar fleece seems like it's going to be really soft, and it is, but it's like a static monger. Although here in Houston with the humidity, static is not an issue. But this kind of material back in Colorado, it'd be like you'd get electrocuted wearing stuff like that because <laughs> the dry air just is like a static palooza. These, I, these are nice, actually. And the nice thing about these is you could wear them around Valentine's Day. Like, they're not, they're not so over-the-top Christmas. Oh, Kate Spade, too. How much are these? Are these $30? This would make a good gift right here. These Kate Spade pajamas. Are they really $30? Yeah, $29.99. They're really nice material, too. Like that kind of modali. Type. Aha! Christmas pajama shorts. This is what I need because, like I was saying, it's just too hot. Are these small? Cynthia Rowley. The little dachshund. Oh, and then you get. Do you get two pairs? A pair of. These are cute. The black shorts. I like those. How much is this? $14.99. That's a good price on these. Does this come with shorts? It says it's a two-piece set. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, this would be good for Christmas. Which is not as extra large. $16.99. That's not too bad either. Man, I was almost going to glaze on over the pajamas, but they're pretty good. Oh, maybe I should get a little trailer. I have one of these red trucks for my Christmas decor. This is kind of like my theme. And I think the little trailer is cute. What do you call that? Camper. Camper trailer. We got little trees here too. Those are cute. I like this because it's kind of vintage. Uh, this is the one time a year this gnome does not get on my nerves because I feel like Christmas is the gnome's holiday. But when they put the gnome out at like Easter, 4th of July, it's just too opportunistic. I can't with the gnome the rest of the year. I only want to see the gnome for Christmas. <laughs> That's cute. A good gift for a new, new nurse graduate. What are they charging for these Cynthia Raleigh shatterproof ornaments? Because I'm telling you, the place to get these is not here. I'm willing to bet these are ex more expensive than what you should be paying. Big Lots. Big Lots comes in and they have a ton to choose from. The Cynthia Rowley one is $14.99. I feel so Big Lots is around that price, but you get more. I don't know, maybe you like those. It doesn't seem like too much of a ripoff, but check Big Lots first. Hmm. I love these. They're kind of vintage looking. These Santas are nice. I like this one. Here's a gingerbread looking Christmas tree LED, but it's missing some bulbs. Ooh, check this out. Martha Stewart collection of bottle brush trees, $14.99. That doesn't seem too bad for decorating like your table. They have a nice selection of dish towel, festive dish towels. I like this one, kind of vintage looking. Always on the lookout for new mugs. Check this out. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, the official cookbook and entertaining guide. They have all of these festive recipes. This would be good because you could use this from Halloween all the way through Christmas. Those are kind of fun. Oh, I love that. It's just little wraps made into a creepy wreath. Little empanadas. Oh, that's cute. The Jack Skellington Shepherd's Pie. Wow. These are clever. Mm -mm. That looks good. So I just filmed my holiday gift guide and so stay tuned for that. It should actually be coming up the Monday after this vlog. But I went ahead and set up my cute little ceramic light up tree. I got this at Home Goods two years ago at this point. And I went ahead and fired up the banana bread candle from Mainstays, banana nut bread. It's putting out a nice scent. I didn't end up finding any, I didn't end up finding any uh, Christmas candles though from Kroger. I did scoot in there and I didn't see any. They didn't have any of the new Tuscany ones. There's little Kirby and this, I think this is supposed to be for a candle. It came in like a gift set. I just think it looks festive. 
I also set out my new placemats. These were a good find from Big Lots. They look really like, I don't know, pseudo high end. They look nice, I'm telling you. Holiday placemats, if you are doing some kind of table setting, don't sleep on Big Lots. They have cute stuff in there. Update on this little makeup brush cleaner. I use it regularly, um, a couple of times a week actually. I really like it. I'm just gonna clean a brush here, but I use this Echo Tools um, makeup brush cleaner. Just a little drop there, hit the on button. Works really well. See all that eyeshadow coming out? These makeup brushes I've had for a few years now. They're from e.l.f. So I got a new lamp, it just came from the Amazonia and I put it together pretty quickly. It was on sale and I thought the colors matched nicely in my apartment, well, at least with the blue buffet and my rug, which both of these also are from Amazon. It was pretty easy to assemble. The store is Jonathan Y. They had a lot of nice looking lamps, but yeah, I thought that was pretty. Oh, feels good. Always feels good at the end of the night to take a shower and be like all in your PJs and clean and moisturized. I don't understand, I don't get how people can go to bed without taking a shower. Like no matter how late I get home at night, um, like I could get home at, I don't know, three in the morning and have to be up at six in the morning the following day and I would still take a shower and do my nighttime skincare routine. Like I couldn't really sleep, I don't think, without, I mean, I wouldn't do like a complicated, I don't do a complicated skincare routine, but what I'm saying is like, I cannot, I can't really sleep as well if I feel like I've got the day stuck all over me. Ugh. Um, I don't know how people do that. Likewise, I can't take a shower in the morning. I mean, I can't, but I don't enjoy taking a shower in the morning because a lot of people say it wakes them up, but for me, it just makes me want to get back in bed and be all, or be all cozy at home and not like do stuff. Let me know in the comments if you like taking showers in the morning. I know a lot of people do like it wakes them up or whatever, but for me, it's just like signal to wind down, not jumpstart my day. Plus, I, I enjoy being in the shower. Like, you should stick to short showers. Like, ideally, no more than 10 minutes. But let's be honest, I don't even do that. Um, I'm definitely in there much longer than 10 minutes. I do try and keep it relatively lukewarm, not scalding hot. But I do enjoy a hot shower like any sane human being. But uh, if I, uh, you know, I think a lot of people jump in the shower first thing in the morning and shower off to wake up. How do you have the willpower to just get right out? Because I would, I would want to stay in there and not, especially if it was a day where I wasn't really in the mood to, to do, the, you know, get my day started. You know how it is to work. I would, I'm looking for my trend now, and I would be, I would be in that shower like procrastinating, just hanging out in there, in the water. <sighs> Aside from sunscreen, the ingredient that has made the biggest difference in my skin, it's gotta be retinoid. First it was adapalene for me and then tretinoin. It has to be that, I mean, for sure. It's definitely lightened up a lot of discoloration, although along with the help of that um, PCA pigment gel really helped fade some discoloration I had. Um, and I mean, discoloration, uh, so long as the underlying cause has been removed, it will fade with time too. But this product I think is further lightened a bit, but this product I think I like mostly because it's super hydrating. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I hope you all enjoyed it, coming along with me, checking out what was in Marshalls. Uh, they had some good stuff in there. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.